All right, welcome back to part six of my Aliens Fireteam Elite full playthrough. I'm Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer, and after part five, I'm not going to lie to you, I needed a quick break to catch my breath, but we're going to just keep chugging right along. Let's dive into mission number six. Uh, remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let's get this one going. Uh, this is going to be Giants in the Earth, and we're going to do Evacuate. Now, full disclosure here. I actually have already run this mission. I tried to do it on the dock class, and uh, let me tell you, don't Closing try that. in on Rodriguez's group. They're at the bottom of an ancient ruin she won't talk about. It's a trade secret. There's Haywire Wayland Utani security since ahead. Cut through them, link up with Rodriguez, and get her people home safe. Anyway, there we are, experiencing the, uh, the sound cutouts again, I guess, as the mission boots up. Uh, anyway, what I was saying is, uh, I tried it on the dock class, in a dangerous location. and uh, that is not exactly recommended. Safe. So I'm back on the demolisher. Uh, anyway, I, I enjoyed the dock class, uh, other than the fact that the basically the heal station, the, the main reason you're using the dock class, it uses med kits uh, to power it, which is kind of ridiculous, I think, in my view, because... Every other skill that, I mean, every other class that I've used in this game so far, you know, with skills, uh, they recharge over time. They have a timer. But this thing actually runs on a med kit, and med kits are, like, unobtainium in this game. So, essentially, if you use that a little bit too much, uh, you, you try and heal yourself in your box, it eventually just runs out of energy, and it's a useless skill. I'm like, what the hell? No! So, anyway, uh, I made it all the way to the end. I thought I was going to be, you know, smart about it. Try out some, I was going to feature some dock gameplay. Don't do that. Don't use that class, uh, at least the way it is right now. Maybe someone out there uh, can tell me a, a workaround for it, but uh, I kept, you know, I, I would run the med station just a little bit and then uh, pick it up, run a little bit, pick it up, and then eventually it would just become a useless skill. So anyway, we're back in the demolisher class. This uh, is the end of the second act. So this is Giants in the Earth. Uh, we're pushing through. Ooh, mini nuke to the face. Uh, we are pushing through, uh, heading to whatever this thing here is at the end. The penultimate battle. Been enjoying this series. What kind of grenade toss is that? My poor synth bot threw a grenade. It bounced off the post and right back at him. That's kind of something I would do. Look at this guy just tanking. These guys, they're a menace, these synth warriors. Hit him with the old forearm shiver. I've kind of experimented around a little bit with uh, pointing out uh, targets. It doesn't do anything from what I'm seeing. It'd be nice if the if the bots that you're playing with, if you target something, if they would actually focus fire it. You know, especially if you have like an elite coming. Uh, I haven't seen any change with it. Sometimes I just press it just, just to see what would happen. But maybe I'm practicing up for when I eventually uh, play with real... Oh my goodness. Uh, with real... Uh, squad mates I can actually point out targets but anyway yeah don't try don't try the dock class right now Area secure. Keep moving. maybe it does get better a little later in the game especially when you start you know leveling up the class and stuff like that I had a horrific time with it as most of the time I was looking for a med kit just to power that damn healing station anyway back on the demolisher of course we're using the famous colonial marines pulse rifle which sounds wicked and uh, we've got the smart gun as well. This is the back here. Am I right? Where is it? Watch, oh, probably underneath us. Still in these cave structures, uh, kind of in and out of these little Prometheus like zones. Oh, yeah, I heard you. There we go. Rocks falling down, stuff like that. Oh, get off me. It's got me. Sentry line ahead. Watch your approach. Those quick time events. Oh boy, more sense. These guys are tough. I'm gonna tell you right now, these synth guys are not easy. They tank it up. Uh, even if you're popping headshots. Well, the old pistol on them. See if I can save some ammo here. Uh, even if you're pulling headshots on these guys, they're not easy to down. I've tried it with the uh, electro shock ammo. That just makes them wriggle and rag all over the place. Doesn't really do any extra damage to them. I 
Look at these suicide warriors here. These detonators. They, they don't have heads on them. Alright, check this area up here. So, so far of the two levels that I've actually played in so uh, on the game so far, the one was in the freighter. Uh, this one's kind of like this Prometheus underground, you know, ancient cave structure. I'm actually preferring this one so far. It's beautiful. Probably neglected to mention I am playing on PC. Oh my gosh, look at all those scents. I am playing on PC. I record and render in 4K. Uh, it's 60 frames per second. So if your ISP, by the way, that stands for Internet Service Provider, in case you know what I'm saying, uh, and uh, if your signal is robust enough to handle that kind of resolution and you've got a monitor that can actually uh, perform it, you can crank up the uh, resolution to all the way up to 4K if you want to watch this game kind of essentially the way that I get to see it. Uh, it looks really stunning. Uh, not, not like over the top crazy, but it looks really good in the highest resolution. Plays well. Oh boy. You know anytime you see crates, it's about to be a horde mode. Man, that guy takes it. Headshots for the win though. Oh, get spun on. There we go. Uh, so apparently I got to drown, excuse me, down the elites, uh, grab pyre, uh, power cells. I can't speak right now. Power cells from them, uh, probably to power up whatever this device is over here. Grab the synth power cell and plug it into the door console. She is... See, here are these. These are the med kits I was talking about. Without one of those things, your med station doesn't work on the dock class, which renders it useless. So you're down to one skill, which is like uh, combat stems, uh, gives your squad mates nice. now trigger the overload. temporary better weapon handling, rate of fire, something like that. I can't throw that. That's too bad. I'll just throw it down right there. There we go. All right, let's go. Come get some sense. Let's go. Dude, they are everywhere. And they shoot now. Where's the Xenomorphs? Just the spitters. Oh, he ran into it. He went right through it. Look at this guy with the stick and everything. I do. Force it. Love the way that thing sounds. I hear this guy over here. Where is he? Oh, whoa, he's got a shotgun. Was this like the division? Update 1.3? <laughs> Shotgun elites killing everybody. Watch it. One's got heavy weapons. Look at the rockets coming in. Yo, what's going on? What? Oh, wow. Synth heavy. Try to target that guy. Didn't do much. Nobody's shooting at him. Oh, let's hit him with some this special ammo. Got something special for this party. Here we go. Him wriggle and raggle around, but man, he's like the Terminator over there with that minigun. You want to talk about a bullet sponge? That guy is a sponge right there. I want to save up my requisition credits. I noticed they got some pretty nasty DMRs uh, available at the Quartermaster. I might actually purchase one of those because they seem to put out about five times the damage per shot uh, as this auto rifle. I might give one of those a shot. Because right now, I'm just spending way too many rounds trying to drop things. I'm not even on the hardest difficulty. It doesn't take away from the experience. It's a fun game nonetheless, but him. And we got him. There we go. I heard him down there. Clear. I've had enough of these robot pendejos. <laughs> She's jumping in and out of speaking Spanglish. Uh, any intel over it? Nope. I did comment on this on uh, episode 5, though. The music just banging away. It sounds like something out of, like, Harry Potter. <laughs> this is really fast tempo, like, 
piccolos right. and all sorts of stuff. More sense, yay. Now, if you happen to hit the same scent that your teammates are shooting at, you can down them much faster. I noticed that, but obviously because you're pushing out all that extra damage on them. But if you're not, it really struggles. <laughs> Look at that babble. Should decapitate them. Turrets, of course. Here comes some more of these rusher warriors. Oh, yes. Save that up for you, buddy. up here clear Rodriguez we're getting close I know. though the danger increases you still advance get your people prepped for evac we're ready for you I hear one prowler time there he is got him that looks beautiful right there. Makes you just want to be able to crawl out of this space and get out of here. So like I said in uh, previous episodes, three things this game does really one, uh, really well. Excuse me. Number one, the gun sounds. Just the sound design in general is really good. Halt. Mine's ahead. Okay, yeah, see up. the blinky lights? Shoot or avoid. They have some faithful recreations of the sound design out of the Aliens movies, uh, especially like the pulse rifles. Uh, the smart gun, uh, the pinging for the radar, they're all straight out of the movies. And uh, the xenomorph sounds too. The squealing that they make out when you're killing them. Uh, second thing this game does really well is just the, the biomes that it puts you in. They're beautifully, beautifully constructed. They look faithful, or at least they use uh, portions of the movies. Targeting these things real quick. Uh, they use... You know, basically, basically they're using uh, heavy influence from the movies for the backdrops. Really well done. Like this is all Prometheus you see in here with the with the precursor heads. Uh, and then the third thing they do is just the combat is just frenetic. It's crazy. Um, so if you're into those three things, this game is for you. Uh, it's not perfect by any means. It's got simple mechanics, but you know what? It plays well. It's not bad. Run up on me. They're coming out of everywhere. Smokescreen dance, got him. Area secure. Like the synths aren't bad enough. I got this eight ball cosmetic uh, spray paint job thing uh, out of a uh, hidden cache. Last episode, slapped it onto the weapon, so you can see it on my back there. It's got a big eight ball on the side of my uh, smart cannon. I think I actually put it on the Marine's pulse rifle, too. A little continuity. Let's keep it going. Sergeant Herrera, please listen. You need to withdraw your team. The only survivors of Paula Station are synthetics. What? Yes. We're not gonna leave you in their hands, Rodriguez. You're not understanding me. I repeat. Save some ammo here. here. Hit him with a mini defense. nuke, and we'll go off on him with the, the police issue clock. There we go. Ammo's tough to get in this game. I'm gonna let you know right now. Ammo and med kits. They are hard to find. I was really disappointed that that doc class. I was looking forward to playing as a healer. Especially when I start spotting up with friends. Uh, that dock class, the heal station runs off of the med kits. That was really disappointing. I was like, really? The one thing you can't find in this game, uh, except for in very limited quantities. Like, like if it was a resource that maybe dropped from elites as you killed them, you could run over there and pick up med kits. That'd be one thing, but the game determines when you can have... A lot of working Joes when you can have med kits and they're so infrequent. I'm gonna kill these guys right off the bat. I've already encountered these guys. 
headshots down him. Yep. Uh huh. Got him. Working Joes. So these are basically the uh, the worker class of the synthetics. Get some. Nice, we got all those. I had to feel a little preemptive there with them. Yeah, it's a perfect mini nuke right there. Grenades really work well on these guys, too. I've noticed that, too. I haven't used a gunner spec in a while, but, you know, that thing with the grenade, the fact that the grenade comes back so quickly and it does so much damage, that is a really important skill to have. Like, if somebody can get some grenades out there, it really does a number, especially on the elites, those heavily armored guys, it chews them up. Whereas you sit there and shoot, you know, a hundred rounds. You can burn them, you know, two-thirds down with just a grenade. Look forward to getting those back. I need you to speak plain, Rodriguez. Whoa. All right, let's go. I told you. Call me Cynthia. S-N-T-H-Y-A. Wayland yutani Model 9500. I was... I am... The Central Computer of Paula Station. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Great. <laughs> so apparently uh, this voice has been guiding us down and telling us to go away is actually a central computer. Which we can obviously not rescue. That's ought to be fun. Saving ammo. Ammo on the uh, on the sidearms is free. Trust that hole right there at all. Okay, here we go. Oh my god. Where's Rodriguez? Cynthia, whoever. She is an artificial intelligence. Rodriguez, Cynthia is on those servers. Oh my god, look at all of these. So not only are the synths oh, ow. not only are the synths tough, but they flood this zone with them. Look at this. They're everywhere. They got turrets. Man. Beautiful area though. Fire team, watch for synth power cores. Same as the console before. Lock them in to overload the system. Okay, I can't hit that guy. Guy with a mini nuke. There we go. Boom. Ooh, sidestep that shotgun. Man, how'd that guy hit me? I wasn't even around the corner. Not a good sign, too, when your bots are throwing grenades on themselves. They're trying to kill themselves. They're like, ah, I'm out of here. There's been too many of these guys. You go handle them. You got to take out the the leader guys to get the the guys with the extra armor bars. You got to take them out to get the uh, power cores. Sit here and just chew through all my ammo. Harris, that's him, and he's got turrets. Got him. Here's one. Wonder how many of these I've got to have. The other one had two. Oh, there's another guy. Get some. The explosives are so much more effective. 
Like that mini nuke launcher, if it hits them. Oh god, these guys. Alright, got him. The mini nuke launcher does them in if it hits them. Like they, oh. Wow, if it hits them face up, like straight on. Can I get down here? I can. All right. That was kind of interesting. Look at zero gravity jump down. Oh boy. The guys with the axes are back. The working Joes. All right, there we go. There are forces in the universe humans are not prepared to grapple with. Eight kids here. So I got all the stuff now. Yeah, they are everywhere right now. More ammo. Yeah, let's get this thing. Alright, there we go. I saw another med kit over here. Oh, wow, look at these guys coming. There's another med kit over here. There we go. Uh, so what now? Okay. I guess we set up, what, a defensive perimeter? This makes sense right here, right? Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on now. Another set of these things? Oh, come on now. This is a bit excessive right now. There's a the guy. That's him with the hat. Ooh, that mini nuke took him out. All right, let me grab this. I'm going to assume the same way we did it before. Yeah, looks like it. Another guy. I need another guy with a hat. more guys with hats. Maybe not. Take them out though, just to thin them out a little bit. Him? There's a, uh, no. Whoa! A synth incinerator. Holy hell. Okay. Take that, buddy. That burned his armor off right there, didn't it? Get out of there. That guy looks crazy. They're shooting rockets. They got flamethrowers? Bypassing death. All right, you and me. Let's get it one-on-one. -on -one. Let's go, bud. PvP. Straight for the win. Straight for the win. I'm taking all this worth of damage. Did I get him? Did I get him? I got him. Yes. Give me the ammo. Grab the ammo. There we go. Catching up. Yeah, I better do this right now. <laughs> they are hurting me from all angles. I need to find another guy with a hat. There he is. I'm about to push this guy. Oh, nice grenade from the bot for the win. There you go. There, intact synth power core. Yep, there we go. Come on, come on. Daddy's coming home, baby. Let's go. Uh-huh. I'm oh, sorry, I thought I heard something come from behind there. They disappeared. Over. All of them disappeared. That's weird. You got her, fire team. Co and I are inbound. I we'll have another... you home before the sweat dries. Anything else? They just die like that? Maybe because I destroyed the power core? Hey, we got some intel right here. Surfer panel. All right. M U T H U R systems. Wow, that one was pretty intense. Um, I. Not gonna lie, that was not easy. They got all these heavy guys coming in with five armor bars, heavily armored. I hope that was not unpleasant. If you heavy wish armor. To your experience, I am available at any hour. I do not sleep. And then two sets of uh, two sets of power cores. 
All right, so there we go. Episode six. As always, please remember to smash that sub button for more of these Aliens Fireteam Elite videos in your daily YouTube timelines. Don't forget to ring the bell to receive all future upload notifications from my channel. If you can take the time to rate and or share this video, it would be greatly appreciated. Find and follow me on Twitch with weekly streams. Join my community Discord server. And of course, follow me on Twitter, posting my thoughts on most things gaming related. Links to all of these platforms in the video description below. Until the next one, this is Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer signing off.